is up, YouTube family, Gonzo coming at you here, from <clears throat> Southwest City, Missouri, um, it's a place called uh, Simmons Foods, I believe, we are, um, I'm getting loaded, well, waiting to get loaded, I backed into the area, no more docks for Gonzo, the days of docking are gone, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I had recorded a long, drawn-out explanation slash me just talking about, I guess, self-therapy session, what had happened, but I deleted it because, I mean, I don't want to sound like a little, you know, what? So, ultimately, I made a decision, and that's all that matters. And now, I am no longer a reefer creeper. I'm a tanker yanker. Proud of it. Of course, if you follow me on Facebook, you know, if you're on the prime Facebook groups, you know this, but it's okay, because we don't discriminate against non-Facebooking people here on the Gonzo YouTube channel. So... Here we are. Got the new truck. Her name is Esperanza 2.0. Not that she's an improvement on the old Esperanza. It's just she's big, she's green, and she's my second truck. So Esperanza, same deal. Green is the color of hope, blah, blah, blah. Spanish word for hope, Esperanza 2.0, because she's number two to me. That didn't come out right. Whatever. You understand what I'm saying. <clears throat> so, I'm picking up this load here, and I'm going to head back out onto the interstate and get onto the 40, and um, try to get on 35 before calling it a, uh, a night, then uh, south of Oklahoma City, and then I'll stop and take a 10, take it easy today, I don't have to be there till. I can be there anytime tomorrow, as long as it's before 2100, which is 9 p.m. So, we're going to do that. Um, definitely interesting, um, driving a tanker, yanking on the tanker. It's um, It seems heavier than a reefer, which is weird because it's shorter. Um, the handle's a bit different. It's not a bad thing, you know, it's only 48 feet long, so it's not, it's not bad, it's just different, it's going to take a little getting used to, and of course I drove it up here empty, so going back on these backwoods Missouri roads, nothing wrong against backwoods people, I live in the backwoods down in the country, okay, among the cornfields, but going back up these uh, backwoods country roads out here in Missouri, um, it's definitely going to be interesting. Um, definitely going to be interested to see what happens with the surge. You know, because, I mean, it's a 6,800-gallon tanker I have on my back, and it's going to be full of product. And most likely, I think this is chicken fat. I think. Because I almost slipped on something out here on the floor. I'll show you guys here in a bit. But... You know, so when you get 6,800 gallons of anything moving, and then you stop, it's going to want to keep moving. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see, see how that is, you know, how that goes. But, you know, we're going to handle it anyway. We're going to do it like we always do. We're going to take it slow, you know, slow and steady. Drive it safe. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Getting there faster doesn't matter. What matters is getting there safe. Anyway, but that's about it. And uh, hold on, let me turn these lights off and show you guys what I was talking about here. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Check this out. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that right there. I thought, I thought it was snow, but I'm like, well. It snowed a while ago. It shouldn't be snow still on the ground. I mean, and then I stepped on it, and I went, whoa, whoa, 
okay, I slip and slide here. So I'm like, yeah, that's 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 chicken fat. And I know it's chicken fat because I found feathers on the ground. Not right there. It's, when I was backing up, I had to did a get out and look. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Anyway, so it's going to be interesting. But we're going to handle it either way. It's, it's different, you know? I mean, I'm dealing with a smaller trailer. I can't see my trailer as well in the mirrors because you're not, you don't have, like, a giant white wall that says Prime on it riding behind your truck. I can see the tandems, and on this side, on the passenger side, I can see the ladder that goes up to the top. But as far as, like, visibility goes, it's different. It's, it's going to take some getting used to. But we're going to get used to it because this is what I feel is the best way to go about things. And, you know, as some of you guys know, and most of y'all should, Gonzo doesn't burn bridges. So if for some reason this tanker yanker business don't work out, I always have my spot available with my old, with James's fleet, my former fleet manager. So that's not an issue at all. But I will say this, though, because I had re originally recorded like a 20 minute long video explaining everything in detail, what had happened when I went home and with the two jobs I held when I was at home. But I don't need to go over it. I mean, you guys don't need to know what happened there. Just know I wasn't happy. My family wasn't being benefited. The benefit to my family was nowhere near as much as it can be while I'm out here on the road. Now, the downside to that is that I'm not there constantly with my family, but I can benefit them more doing doing my work out here. And like I told my wife, I'm good at it. You know what I mean? I, I don't like being that guy. Oh, girl, I'm a super trucker. You know, I don't tell people about how they run their, how they should run their business. I don't like telling people. Now, if somebody asks me, I'll gladly... I'll gladly give advice in my very, very limited experience, but I don't like preaching at people about what they should or shouldn't do or how I'm better than other people because I'm not. I'm just out here trying to do this job safely, trying to do this job well. Anyway, so I'm going to cut this video off for now. You guys saw me and... Um, Another another buddy of mine that we went through orientation together. His name is Mike. He's a cool dude, man. Um, on the simulator, it was cool. I went first, and um, Mike recorded me, and and then uh, he went last. And of course, he got the snow. You know, he got the snow simulation. Um, but in the forthcoming videos, we'll see, you guys will see more of the tankers, more of Esperanza 2.0, which from here on in, I'm just going to call Esperanza because it's easier and it's less syllables. So I'm going to just cut it off right there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I hope you guys like the new intro. I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, I ended up uh, deciding that with this new foray into trucking, we should probably change up the intro a little bit so this will be the third intro i've had on the channel the first one got deleted at some point so i had to remake it if you go back to my very first videos you'll see the typeface or the font of the original intro is different than the intro that i was using for the longest time and now of course we'll be having the new gonzo intro um with my logo and uh next time i'm in springfield i'm probably gonna have them embroider that into the back of the car heart here um anyway but like comment subscribe ring the bell this is almost going on 10 minutes so we're just gonna cut it off here like comment subscribe ring the bell all that good stuff and stay tuned more coming peace